Hey guys, welcome back to video number 23, and in the last video we made our variables much more clear for our connection to understand. In this video, let's go ahead and clean up our code even more, so it'll be a lot easier to work with. So in the nerdy PHP world, we call this refactoring, and this just means we want to clean up our code. So I just want to clean up our code and make it a little bit more clear before we start adding dynamic links. Nothing's going to change, we're just going to create our queries to be a little less sloppy. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our content.php file, which is right here. I'm kind of getting used to that at this point. And right now our tables are getting pulled into our browser in the order that we set them, which was auto increment. Remember that from PHP, PHP my admin, the, the MySQL program? Okay, good. Well, I want to add some more SQL to this code to ensure that this happens because right now the query that we're the queries that we're asking our database are very simple, but um, down the road they're going to be complex. So I'm going to add some more MySQL. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me, I got cough drops in right now. Let's go ahead and <coughs> use the MySQL command order order. By. Okay, there's my blue color. And we want to order this by position. Ascending position, not descending, not in reverse order. Just normal order. Just from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do this down here as well. I want to do the same exact thing. So I can just copy this out. And let's go ahead and go down to our page underscore set variable and okay so now our query is getting kind of messy I kinda of want to clean this up a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole string right here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'll just go ahead and create a new variable and I'll call this query I'll equal it to what I just copied. Don't forget to put a semicolon at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and do this to our variable down here. I want to take our query all the way up to here. And let's go ahead and copy this. And we can create query again. Okay, I don't want to confuse you guys right now because as you see, give it a semicolon. We have two variables right here that are the that we declare the exact same, which is query, but they have different values in them. Don't be confused. We have we they're both called query, but they have different values in them. Well, PHP recognizes the SQL in the variable and uses it only one time. So this is an exception to PHP variables. So we can go ahead and get rid of this stuff right now. And we'll go ahead and just type in query. So we have a variable right here, and our MySQL underscore query function looks a lot cleaner. So we can do the same exact thing down here. Let's go ahead and take this out. And let's go ahead and type in query. Let's save this, and let's hope our page works the exact same way. And it does. Perfect. Okay, so we just consolidated our code by refactoring it. And I hope you guys followed along just fine. And uh, good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next.